Welcome to Little Story Seekers. My name is Jo and today I'm in a fantastic special room at Falmouth Art Gallery. Look, there's a ginormous table. I think we'll do some arts and crafts on here later. Now, before we do that, we need to sing our special song. Get ready and count to three. One, two, three. Say hello, lo, lo. Say hello, lo, lo. Wave your hands up high, wave them down, lo, lo. Say hello, lo, lo. Say hello, lo, 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 lo. Woohoo! Little story seekers, little story seekers, wave your hands up high, wave them down, lo, lo. Say hello, lo, lo. Say hello, lo, 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 lo. Woohoo! And let's do one really long woohoo. Ready? <coughs> It's time to find the suitcase. I know I had it here somewhere. Um, just look in this drawer. Nope. Mm, ah, here it is. <sighs> Today's suitcase. Oh, it's not very heavy. It's a little bit rattly. Mm. Do you remember? There's a special way to open the suitcase. We need to count to number five. Can you help with that? I like to use my fingers. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five. Let's find out what's inside. Ah, oh, yeah, it's worked. One clasp, two clasp, and oh. There are some, oh, lovely colours. Some ribbons, yellow and blue and purple. Oh, I like those. Let's see what else. There is, oh, well, that looks like a piece of rope. Maybe. That's for tying something up. You can make knots in ropes. Hmm, a piece of rope. Wow. A beautiful, shiny ball. Oh, look, it spins. Gosh, isn't that wonderful? A ball and oh, red and white stripes. Hmm, I like those stripes. Lots in here. <gasps> a flag. A golden flag. A cat with whiskers and a tail. Ooh, meow to you too. <laughs> I'll put you there. And I think there was one more thing. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> it's a bird with a long beak. Hello. I like your wings. I'll put you over here. Hmm. So I think today's story must have some ribbons and rope, a shiny ball, a flag and a cat and a bird. Today's story 
is Sam and Fern and the big tent. This is Sam Cat. Sam Cat loves being a cat. Sam Cat loves to leap. Sam Cat loves to creep. Sam Cat simply loves being a cat. This is Fern Bird. Fern Bird loves being a bird. Fern Bird loves to fly and glide. Fern Bird simply loves being a bird. Now cats and birds are different creatures, but these two are friends, sort of. Sam Cat lives in a house with his guardian, Miss Philps. And Fern Bird lives outside in a nest in an apple tree, high up in the branches where it's difficult for Sam Cat to reach. Sometimes the two creatures would go outside and play together. Their favourite place to visit was the big field. Now today, when they went to the field, it looked very different. It was not the big, green, grassy, open space they were used to. Today, it was filled with a ginormous, red and white, stripy tent with a golden flag on top. Sam Cat and Fern Bird wondered what it could be. They found an opening, a little doorway in the tent and had a peek inside. There they saw people doing all sorts of things. There were people balancing on balls. Woo! There were dancers jumping and twirling and spinning. There was a band playing music. They heard drums dum 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 and horns and the loud crash crash of cymbals. Fernbird looked up and she saw feet on a rope. She had never seen a human so high. The footsteps took one step, then another. On a piece of rope that stretched from one side of the tent to the other. Wow, what a magnificent sight. Sam Cat and Fern Bird decided to make a plan. And they would come back later and enjoy what was going on inside. When Sam Cat went through the cat flap of the house, he heard Miss Philps on the telephone. Oh, I can't wait. I've not been to the circus since I was a child. I'll see you there, Mr Barnacote. You won't miss the tent. It's red and white stripes with a golden flag. And don't worry, I've got the tickets. So, it was a circus tent. Sam Cat went back outside to tell Fern Bird what he'd heard and they made their plan. Miss Philps got ready for her special evening. She made pasties and wrapped them in napkins to keep hot and a flask of tea with two cups. She put everything into her basket and covered it with a tea towel. When she was ready to leave, she picked up the basket, which was surprisingly heavy. Miss Philps made her way to the field. And little did she know, Fern Bird was flying high above. Miss Philps joined the queue outside the circus tent and waited for her friend, Mr Barnacote. Fern Bird sat on the flag post at the top of the tent. When Mr Barnacote arrived, 
Miss Filtz showed the tickets and they found their special seat numbers 28 and 29 and the show began. The band played music and the ringmaster announced the acts. Please welcome the terrific tumblers! Everybody watched the acrobats running and tumbling with fantastic twists and turns. Put your hands together for the plate spinners! The crowd cat clapped wildly as the plate spinners spun plates on sticks. They went round and round and round really fast and it was the spinners job to make sure the plates didn't smash. Give a rapturous applause for the ribbon dancers! Long and colourful ribbons swirled around the ring as the dancers moved to the music. Not two wheels, but only one! It's the unbelievable unicyclists! The people on the one-wheeled bikes rode around the arena making patterns and shapes. Miss Phil and Mr Barnacoat were so entertained they'd forgotten all about their pasty tea. And now, time for our balancing acts! Bring on the balls! The performers carried the balancing balls into the arena. As they stepped on top of them, there was a drum roll. And suddenly, from out of Miss Philp's basket, leapt Sam Cat! Into the middle he pounced, jumping from ball to ball. The performers were so startled they kept falling off. The ringmaster was furious. This cat was ruining the show. But the crowd loved it. <laughs> they laughed and laughed and thought it was planned to be this silly. Mr Barnacoat said, Um, isn't that your cat? Sam Cat? Um... I think it might be, said Miss Phelps. Fern Bird watched the fun from outside through a gap in the entrance. Sam Cat jumped on the final ball, gave it a spin, then ran through the crowds to the outside and met Fern Bird. The ringmaster congratulated the performers who took their bow. Ah, uh, well done for a most memorable performance. And finally, it is time for the highest act of the show. Please look up for the tremendous tightrope walker. Drum roll, please. Drum roll. The crowd clapped as the tightrope walker climbed the ladder and stepped onto the rope high above their head. They watched silently as he took his first step. It was exciting and terrifying. Suddenly, into the tent flew Fern Bird. The crowd gasped <gasps> and the tightrope walker wobbled, then steadied himself still. Fern Bird glided and landed on top of the tightrope walker's head. <gasps> the crowd gasped again. <gasps> the tightrope walker froze, not knowing what to do. The ringmaster held his head in his hands. There had never been a show like this. Fern Bird slowly stretched out her wings like the tightrope walker's arms. And together, the tightrope walker, with Fern Bird on his head, took a step, then another, then another, and made his way across the tent to the end of the rope. The crowd went wild. Hooray! Bravo! Magnificent! As the tightrope walker climbed down the ladder, Fernbird flew off his head and out of the tent. Well, what an adventure! Sam Cat and Fernbird had been to the circus and been part of the circus.
It was the best show everyone had seen. The performers took their final bow, along with the band and the ringmaster, who were all glad the show was over. Miss Filts and Mr Barnico ate their pasties, which were just about warm, and drank the hot tea. When Miss Filts arrived home, she found Sam Cat curled up, fast asleep in the armchair. Well, it couldn't have been Sam Cat at the circus, could it? He's just an old, sleepy cat. Fern Bird slept in her nest with her wings outstretched as if balancing. Before Miss Filts got ready for bedtime, she had a little dance and spin around the living room as if she was part of the circus. She stroked sleeping Sam Cat and as she did, she noticed something in his tail, something shiny. It was a piece of golden ribbon. She wondered just how it had gotten there. Hmm. In the circus tent, there were lots of things that were spinning. The balls were spinning, the plates were spinning and the acrobats and tumblers were jumping and spinning. So I've made something that spins too. A spinning top. Let's try this one. Woo! Now I've made these out of cardboard and straws. I'm going to make another one with an old chocolate bar packet. Oh look, I've got a tea packet as well, so that's quite good. You can use any cardboard you've got at home, perhaps an old cereal box or a cracker box, whatever you can find. Now then, I'll pop that bit there. I think I'll use my chocolate bar wrapper. And what I'm going to do is find something that's a circle shape and draw around it here. I've got some tape, can you see? And that's a really good shape. I'm gonna place that onto my cardboard and I'm gonna draw around it. I think I'll use a pen, a green pen. And I'm just going to draw around the inside. So I've got a nice circle shape. There we are. Now I'm going to cut that one out. There we are, there's my new circle and I'm going to make a hole in the middle. Oh look, I've got a piece of straw here. This is just a paper drinking straw that I've cut in half. I'm just going to place that on my circle and I'm just going to see where the middle is and then I'm going to do it again. I think that's roughly in the middle. There we are, just in the middle there. I'm going to make a little mark with my pen. There we are. Now I'm going to make a hole in this and I'm going to do that by using my sharpened pencil. It will be a good idea for you to get your grown-up to do this. The best thing to do is to put your cardboard on something soft underneath. I've got a ball of string here. I'm going to push my pencil through, there we are, and it's nice and safe because it goes into the string, there we go, and I've made a hole now, there we are, can you see my hole in the middle? The good thing about a pencil is you can wiggle it and make the hole a bit bigger if you need to. Now then, let's decorate this spinny thing with some nice colours. I think I'll use my green pen again. I think I'm going to do some stripes. Let's do some like that. Whoa. That might be nice. Oh, and the big top, the tent, had red and white stripes. So I think I'm going to put some red stripes on as well. How about that? Should we do one there and one there? Maybe some dots as well. How about some 
yellow dots. That's a bit like the gold of the flag, isn't it? Shall I put some of those on? Oh, I like this. Stripey and spotty. There we are. Nice pattern on there. Looks a bit like a wheel, doesn't it? Wheels spin around as well. Where I've made the hole with the pencil, I'm going to slot in my piece of paper straw. There we are. I think I'll just put it about halfway down. If you need to, if it's a bit wobbly, you can always fix it with a little bit of sticky tape. Now let's see if this one spins. I'm going to count to three. Ready? One, two, three. And what's fun when it spins is the stripes change. Whee! Well, Sam Cat and Fern Bird had an adventure at the circus. They saw lots of spinny things and we've made a spinny thing. Hmm. I'm going to practice with my spinning top. It's time to say goodbye now. So let's sing our special song. Let's count to three. Get ready. One, two, three. Say goodbye, bye, bye. Say goodbye, bye, bye. Wave your hands down low. Wave them up high, high. Say goodbye, bye, bye. Say goodbye, bye, 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 bye. Little story seekers, little story seekers, wave your hands down low, wave them up high, high. Say goodbye, bye, bye. Say goodbye, bye, 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 bye. Woo and one long last woohoo. Ready? Woo. -hoo.